The Lord gave me a, 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 two words of knowledge, and actually were related, um, a, f- a fibroid tumor, and then right after that, he sp- spoke goiter. I never met Jude before. I think last Sunday was your first time ever yes, here. Yes, it was. So you've had this fibroid or, or goiter. It was diagnosed 40 years ago, right? It was an adolescent goiter they diagnosed it as? More than 40 years. More yeah. than 40 years. <laughs> yeah. And so tell everybody what happened is people gathered around you. We started praying. I prayed and... Yeah. Well, um, I came here last Sunday for the first time, um, and um, I was a little skeptical. I'm um, from Episcopal Church, and um, it's quite different. And um, <laughs> very different. Anyway, um, Pastor uh, mentioned something about uh, fibroid tumor, and I thought to myself when he said that, I thought. There's somebody here that's really sick. I'm thinking about that. Then he said, wait a minute, something else is coming to me. Goiter, the word goiter. Well, then I remembered that um, I have this, um, he just recently is retiring, but my endocrinologist here, Dr. Enzo, um, said that that's what I had, a fibroid tumor. And he said, anytime that you want to have that removed, we'll just, I have a good surgeon that I can, um, you know, recommend, and um, he could remove that for you. And I said, no way, I don't want that. And this was diagnosed, actually, I'm from Saginaw, Michigan. It was diagnosed when I was 16. I had what they called an adolescent goiter. And at that time, they put me on Synthroid, which is a medication for that. And I took that for a long time. But every time I had the blood work done, everything came out normal, within normal limits. And um, so um, I ended up, when I was kind of like, I think in my 40s, went to uh, the Mayo Clinic um, because this one doctor I had thought that maybe I had a little problem with it. So anyway, I... um, went there and um, this doctor that was there did a needle biopsy and he said that there's no problem with that, you don't have to worry about it and you can go off of the Synthroid. So since then, I haven't been um, taking Synthroid at all. I go once a year to um, Dr. Jonathan Enzel. He's retiring this year, he's really nice. He's here in um, Tucson. Tucson. He has me drink a little water, and then he says, you sure you don't want that removed, you know? And I said, no way. I'm not having anyone cut my neck. And um, <laughs> my, this goiter that I have was on the left lower lobe uh-huh. of the thyroid, and really it was probably as big as a small um, baseball. It's huge. It was huge. Mm. It was very big. And it's almost gone completely. Since now. prayer last Sunday. That's last Sunday. Come on, Jesus. Yeah. I have this last week. I'm going to, Karen, how old am I going to be? Did I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we, we don't need to go there. So. Okay. But anyway, this last week, and I'm really very energetic and have a lot of um, energy and do a lot of stuff. But this last week, it was sort of like I had this surgery that occurred. And... Um, All week since Sunday, um, I was home. I stayed home and took it easy. And um, that's what happened. Yeah, yeah. It's still, you know, kind of still a little bit there, right? It's very, very soft there. Yeah, right. And it's almost completely. So, can we pray a little bit more? Oh, I'd like that. Okay, all right. You want a complete healing here, church? (laughs) So, can I touch that area? Is that all right? Yeah, Father, come on, Sam. We just pray for Jude right now. Holy Spirit, we just ask for your healing presence. We thank you for what you begun last week. We ask for you to just increase your healing presence. We just release peace over Jude right now. Command the goiter to disappear. Swelling, go. Inflammation, go. Pain, go. Goiter, disappear. We speak health in Jesus' name. Just bless her now, Lord. 
Now, do, you, do you sense anything happening in your body or anything going on? Yeah, I can feel something worth swallowing here. Thank you, Lord. We just bless what you're doing, Jesus. Keep praying. Sam. For those of you who are not Sam and his wife Margaret leave our healing rooms here that meet the first and third Tuesday of every month at 6, p- 6 to 8 p.m. We just thank you, Lord. Greater go in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. We're going to let Jesus just keep doing the work that he's doing. Something has begun, and um, it's an amazing testimony of already what's happening. Isn't it exciting, church, what, what God's doing? Yeah.